Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to rebuild a unified communications manager uh, publisher uh, if we've got a dead publisher. So we need to rebuild it. And what we're going to do is instead of doing a restore from disaster recovery, we're going to restore from the subscriber server with because the subscriber server is perfectly fine. So uh, there might be, there could be a, a couple of different reasons why you might need to do this. Uh, the main reason is, of course, is uh, data corruption. And I've run into this a couple of different times during the course of my career, where, for example, uh, you have disk degradation on the UCS server uh, which causes uh, some problems with the um, con communication between servers and things like that, where a database corruption can uh, can happen. Um, other times where um, there has been corruption so bad that the, uh, the the server itself won't come up or the services won't all start. So. Um, a couple of different circumstances like this that I've run into in my career where a server would need to be rebuilt like this. In this particular instance, I'm going over if the server that has to be rebuilt is a publisher server, what do we need to do? Okay, so to start off with, what we're going to do is this is our subscriber, okay? The publisher is down. Uh, this is a lab environment, just to full disclosure here. Lab environment, nothing is actually wrong with the publisher, but I'm simulating that there is. So the publisher is down. This is the subscriber. So this is what we're going to do. So first off, the first thing you need to do is gather some information about the cluster from the subscriber server. Okay. And so to do that, you do a show network cluster. Okay, that gives us information on the particular cluster that we're working on. We also want to get some information such as our show version active. Okay, which gives us, this is a 12.5 version of Call Manager. Okay, and then, uh, so we have that information. Okay, we're gonna need that information for when we rebuild our publisher. Okay, next thing we wanna do is we need to stop the replication on the subscriber. We don't wanna rebuild a new publisher and have the subscriber try to pull that information from the from the new publisher so we need to stop it so we need to do a utils db replication stop okay now this is going to take a few minutes to to do this so i'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video uh, until this is done and we'll catch up with you at that point. And it's finished. Now the next step is to go ahead and install the new publisher. Okay. Uh, now a couple of things that you need to be aware of here is that you need to install it with at the same exact version that it was, which is why we ran these this information so that we could get the what version it was. Okay. Um, also, we um, we need to make sure that we have the same host name, IP address, uh, DNS information, and security passwords, everything that was on that publisher needs to be on the new one. 
as well as any uh, COP files, device packs, uh, anything like that that you know was on that server. And so that needs to be, those need to be installed as well. So I'll take you through the install of the, uh, of the new server. We'll go through it pretty quickly uh, so that it's not taking up too much time during this video. Um, probably fast forward a lot of it. And then, but then we'll uh, go ahead and finish with how to copy the database. Okay. So uh, I do have a, a, another video, which I will link of how to install 12.5. Uh, that's the version that that's here. And so um, I'll go ahead and let you follow through with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this um, till after I have that in and we'll go from there. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together Okay, so the website is not up quite yet, but we are logged in Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run that command. Okay, so the command is utils disaster recovery. And prepare restore. Hub from sub. And that's it. So it doesn't give you any kind of feedback on that. It's just setting the preparation for doing the restore. Okay. Now let's see if we're up yet. Not quite yet. So wait a little bit longer all right the website is up so we're going to go ahead and log in And now that we have run that command, we should be able to put in the process node. And include our subscriber. Now we're going to verify that the process node has been entered by running the following SQL command. Select name, description, description, I own take out those eyes 
node ID from process node. And there we go, we got the two in there. Now, very important at this point is to reboot the publisher at this point. The reason why we need to do that is that we need to get this information and that subscriber locked in so that we can get that in an authenticated state for the next command that we're gonna run when we verify the cluster authentication. So we're gonna go ahead and utils system restart. Uh, utils an S system restart. Yes. All right. So I'll go ahead and fast forward the video until that comes back. Server is back up after the reboot. So we're going to go ahead and log in. Now the next thing we're going to run is a uh, show network cluster and verify that we are in an authenticated state. Give this a second for the login to complete. There we go. Show network cluster. And as we can see, publisher is authenticated, subscriber is authenticated. So we are now in business. Okay. Next step is to log into disaster recovery. Now, uh, the next step here is to add a backup device. This has to be a SFTP server. Um, a backup to my uh, to my own PC, okay, and which is a Mac, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add new. We're going to say Mac. We're going to give it my IP address, which is right there. Okay, we're going to have a path name, which is going to be users. I'm going to have a username, which is my username, password and save. Updated successfully. And now the next step is going to go ahead and do a manual backup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, choose that one, and start the backup. So this is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this and uh, catch up when this is done. All right, now that the backup is complete, we are going to go ahead and do a restore. Okay, I'm gonna put, up, put in what our backup device was. <clears throat> oh, it's 
it's going to reach out to that device to find any backups. Okay. And we have a backup. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And we're going to choose all for restoring. We're going to go ahead and click on next. All right, now here is where the rubber meets the road. Okay, we need to choose the Publisher node. And then it asks to select the server from which the database is to be restored. And with that, we're going to choose the subscribe. Okay. And restore. So the restore is now taking place. So again, I'm going to go ahead and let that go forward and fast forward it until it completes and then catch up when that's done. The restore is complete. And now what we need to do is go ahead and reboot both of the servers. As soon as that is done, I'll bring you back and we'll check on a few things. All right, thanks. Are complete. We're going to go ahead and log in. And we're going to take a look at the database replication and make sure that it's set up correctly. Details, DB replication, runtime state. Let's see what we get. All right, all of our services are not up quite yet. So let's give that a second. Okay, just so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Uh, the replication has started. Uh, it is syncing the tables. We can see that there are 60, 671 tables out of 732 that have been checked. And we are uh, still waiting. You can see that it's syncing right now on the sub. Okay, and so just need a little bit longer and we should get a status of two on both of them and we will be good to go. All right, our database replication is now complete. We can see that there is a status of two for both the publisher and subscriber and we are done. So that is how you will um, be able to replace your call manager publisher in the case of a failure 
for the server and be able to copy the database from the subscriber. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. If you like the video, if this helped you out in some way, let me know and like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bar uh, bell so that you can get notified when I have new videos and we'll see you guys later.